Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another interesting video. In this video, we'll try to understand what will a Tableau developer do in his, you know, uh, on any given day. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So we can, you know, take this from two perspectives. One is your development phase. Okay. So one will be your development phase where our day-to-day -day activities will be a little different and another would be I would call it as non-development phase, okay? Because, you know, development cannot go forever. Like assume, you know, you have given four years of experience in Tableau developer, just think, you know, from that angle, you know, we cannot be continuously in a development project for so long. There are chances that, you know, sometimes we might work on a production support. You know, sometimes we might work on other things than actually developing a dashboard. So I'm talking about that. Other things than actually developing a dashboard. Now, whenever we say, you know, Tableau developer, it means we think that, okay, developing a dashboard. So this developing a dashboard cannot go every day. Okay, so that point you need to understand. Okay, so let us, so for anything, there are certain common points that we can always consider. So as soon as you log in for a day or whenever a Tableau developer logs in for the day, first thing is, you know, identifying, you know, what is there in for him. Okay. So what is the plan for the day? So just because, you know, in most of the cases, you will see that it is a kind of onshore and offshore, you know, handshake environment where majority of the tasks that are assigned to you are during your off hours like say you have done for the day and you know whoever is working uh so like say your client or your onshore counterparts will review the plan on and, and will you know assign you something that you need to do next day when you log in so that's why the first thing that we do as a developers is you know going through what is there in for us for today checking the email so this is how we start and whatever the tasks that are there or you know like say some days you might simply need to just you know uh, reply to an email and that might close the day but sometimes you might need to work on issues sometimes you might need to work on dashboard sometimes you need to work on data fixes some days you might have to fix on you know dashboard optimization so there can be this type of different things that can happen so the so first thing is you know having the plan or i would say let us start with uh, a coffee okay coffee for the day before we actually you know start grinding ourselves second planning based on the emails and the uh, the project plan okay like say assume you are currently working on a developing project so we will be always aware like where we are with that what is need to be done and all Second, if you are, you know, consistently working on a production support, which is not a development, then we always wait for emails from our client. You know, uh, any observations have been shared, like say identifying maybe defects, okay, or any optimizations, data issues, you know, your SQL issues, your formatting issues, or documenting issues. This all can be, you know, activities that can be assigned to you on any given day. Now, this might range from, you know, day to day, basing on where you are. But you need to understand that this might all come up at some point of time. So that is why reading emails is very, uh, you know, important or the first task for any developer, irrespective of any, you know, skill that we are working on. Based on that, we will reply. So sometimes client might ask us to clarify some doubts regard, uh, related to projects or there might be some emails that you have already, you know, sent to maybe your stake, uh, you know, your client or to your, you know, collaborating team, you might be waiting for reply for them. So all of that you will get in this emails. So that is the first thing. Okay. So that is how we get started. So next thing after responding to that, you know, we actually start working our project activities.
right so because that is again very important making making progress on project activities because so once we are done with our you know a normal regular uh, checking emails and also we will know what is in our plate for today what is that we need to complete and by when client will be coming back like say you are logging in around 10 am okay and you know that you know client will be asking you by 7 pm you have meetings around the time so you will or we will plan our activities in a way that by 7 pm we have updates on the requirements or any emails that were asked during your offshore hours so 10 am 10 am you log in maybe 30 to 40 or you know maybe like say i'm giving maybe one hour you are spending on all of the initial prerequisites so once you do that next to you know next to hours you start working on project activities it can be you know your development or it can be any like say client asks you to prepare a documentation on the process of how to create uh, maybe a KPI. Then uh, suppose you are creating one KPI. How did you develop that? So he wanted to know that. Or maybe he asked you to create a test document okay, on the testing that you have done on the Tableau dashboard. Then you need to create that test document. So you, you will plan your activity in a way that you have either completed it or you are in progress of creating that. But whatever you did, like say, assume you have completed this task by 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. Okay, this testing document is completed. Now, before client comes in, we will send this document for review, stating something like this. Okay, hi, dear client. As requested, attached is the testing document for the Tableau dashboard done. Okay, you can mention the name here and you can specify like, you know, if there are any findings, you can summarize here, like say summary, uh, data looks fine when tested for couple of days and a couple of accounts, whatever you want, you can specify and attachment, you can add it. Okay, so something like this you can send and regards. Okay, I'll write it as Rahul. Okay, so you will send it and he will review. If there are anything else that he wants, maybe you will get a reply on this. Again, this will be on a next day, right? So as a chain mail is created. Now next day he might come and say, you know, uh, uh, something like this. Hi Rahul, you know, uh, thanks for creating the document. Please uh, no, create the document for five days or, or test the report for five days. Something like this, he will say. Now, this is a continuation process. Now, you know what will be the task for you next day. So next day when you log in, you will see this email that, okay, are, I have to do it for again three more days. Then you will again continue that work. And again, by the time he comes in, he you will send this report to him. So there can be different parallel activities like this that can go on, okay? It's not like, you know, we are working only on this. So now this might take up, like say, assume, you know, you are two to three hours you are taking to complete this, right? So two to three hours are completed. Maybe again, uh, two hours I am adding for all your breaks. Okay, it can be a tea break, it can be a lunch break, whatever. So, so we have completed five five hours, right, of our day. One hour to test, uh, sorry, to check your emails, emails, maybe, you know, uh, meetings and all. So, probability is that at least in a given day or on any given day, you will attend two to three meetings for sure. So two on a minimum side, maximum it can go up to four, five based on, you know, uh, different teams you are working for. So in this two, one would be your call with internal team 
like say what you are doing what you have done and all second would be an overall project uh, you know with the client it can be to identify what you have done any bottlenecks and challenges and all so your majority of the time is you know completed now within that stipulated time whatever we have we have to complete all our tasks and then also show the process so that is how it goes in majority of the cases so this is one issue like say on a given day you are working on this and on other side there are some data issues that have cropped up now they will uh, you will get another email hi uh, rahul uh, i'm seeing data discrepancy or data mismatch with the report could you please look into the report tableau report name metric name time period whatever in case if the client is very specific he will give you tableau report name metric name and he will also give you the screenshot or he will ask you to verify and the expected value so now what will be your you know role next so when you log in you have to check that okay one you have already created a document this is completed second again you have to make a progress on this activity why it is a mismatch is it your issue issue with like say your issue means one tableau developers issue with calculation or it is something related to database or actual source data now if it is our mistake like say developers mistake we have to fix it okay and explain why and how okay okay why it wasn't you know uh, captured earlier or you know how did we you know write an invalid calculation was it a requirement a mismatch or something that we didn't understood or we wrote incorrect so all of that will go in this thing or simply you can tell that what you have done to fix that okay so once if it is fixed you can tell that okay there was a mistake in the calculation okay so we were uh, earlier capturing something uh, like say you know for we were only capturing for region is equal to south okay but now instead of south we got uh, as S-O-U-T-H is south. Okay. So this was not capturing. So there is a data issue. Okay. Or south came only as S. So something that there can be a number of possibilities, right? So the bottom line is there is a mismatch. So you have to identify what is the expectation, you know, and how it can be done. So that is one we can do. If it is a data mismatch or, you know, data load is incomplete, you know, they have not loaded the data, then you will write another email now now see try to understand here we on the same issue okay data discrepancy issue so you have identified that there is no issue now okay you are going to second part there is some data issue now you are creating another email chain hi db team uh, something like this it is identified that there is a mismatch in data for one of our tableau reports and upon checking the source we see that there is no data for so and so date could you please check the data for this table and do the needful so in this mail you will write or you will loop in everyone like say in cc you will write you know your client you know your manager your lead okay or your team members all of them will come here okay so two under two it will be your db team 
okay you will address them and you will write it now once they do that once they fix it they'll again revert back stating hi rahul you know uh, there was uh, a delay in a uh, sql job or db job we have rerun the job and we can now see the data for the xx date specified please check and confirm okay now again there is there can be issues like this now they have you know fixed the data issue now again you will go back to your tableau and see if data is coming or loading it or not if it is loading you will confirm that okay values are matching or whatever like that so there can be different issues like this so this is how you will work on parallel things or you know multi line things together okay so i hope you are getting you know if you are getting please you now show your uh, this thing in the comment section so next is again this is from the standard uh, perspective if at all i want to talk like you know uh, project briefing data exploration data cleaning this is a uh, standard development you are doing this is the standard process so uh, next is you know like say assume you are in a development process now what do we do connecting to data creating visualization understanding which chart to create what type of metrics to create you know what should be my fa uh, font size all of that creative elements you will write in the data visualization and then dashboard designing and performance tuning so this is a standard process that will go in next meetings connecting with the client connecting with the client presenting uh, you know uh, presenting findings you know a gathering feedback you know iterate and repeat so this is a repeat process that will happen and collaborating with team members updating project and timelines and ensuring that everything is met so these are uh, again important task of a developer okay so again when you get issues what do we do identifying issues analyzing the data debugging the code and testing the solutions okay so in ideal times like say you are currently not assigned to anything you do not have anything and all so what do you do in that situation so in that situation we'll try to learn ourselves upskill ourselves you know attend you know uh, reading books online enroll ourselves in uh, in any online uh, courses or we go through community to find any solutions to our existing problem so this is how we do okay so that's how a life goes on in a tableau developer okay and to, to wrap up the day you know we document what we have done you know setting priorities for tomorrow's tasks you know and preparing for upcoming meetings so if there are any important meetings like say you are you know trying to collaborate with your client so we just cannot go with blank right we need to prepare ourselves right so we need to show what we have found we need to explain them what are the challenges we have facing or what how it can be achieved and also all of that you will be preparing some time so this is how the days goes in a life of a tableau developer i hope you have learned something new if it does don't you know forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day